Hi there. As the year 2020 um, comes to an end, Clint and I would just like to share a few things that we've been very thankful for, despite the challenges of um, the, one of the most unusual years ever yes. in history. And uh, Clint would like to start by um, sharing a miracle that actually happened this year concerning uh, a close to death um, experience. Yeah, it was this summer and I was uh, on my tractor down at the lower field and uh, I got too close to the stream bed and in a matter of seconds my tractor rolled over into the stream bed and uh, I was uh, thrown off my tractor and the tractor came, I hit the ground first and the tractor came right after me and somehow, like a cookie cutter, um, just missed from crushing me. And uh, I can't mm -hmm. tell you what uh, went through my head after I was able to walk away from that. Truly only by the mm -hmm. grace of God, hey, hey sweetheart, that I was Completely. able to walk away from that. Miracle. And it uh, just took more than my breath away. And I'm just so thankful mm -hmm. for those kinds of, of incidents that happen when you least expect them to, but God is there to catch you, catch you with the fall. And so, I'm so thankful. So grateful for that. As I've been spared. Um, other things we're grateful for is the time we've had to um, quiet down. Yeah. During lockdown um, earlier, we enjoyed a, a, quite a few hikes out in nature. And when yes. you're in that stillness and that nature, um, the beauty that God created for us to enjoy in that stillness, he's, he's so, so there. He's so real. He's just... Yeah, it's a blessing to have that quiet time, and that was something to be thankful for, for sure. Um, we did get some time with our children, our grandchildren, and uh, mm -hmm. being around little kids, um, they're just so delightful, they're, they're trusting, and you can learn so much from them, how they trust you. And you know, in scripture it says to become more like a child, so you can enter the kingdom, and uh, it's the trust they have and also the joy that they share when you're with them. And uh, the things that we take for granted, like the air in our lungs, those things, those are things that we um, are always grateful for and thankful for. And the ability to um, walk and uh, to uh, see yes. His glory. And uh, we're just so thankful that we're here and our family's been healthy and we've all been kept safe. And uh, he gives us hope and he gives us strength. And through um, our church family and yes. the church doors being open. It's been amazing through this past 10 months how they've persevered and how important it is to gather and worship in person. Mm -hmm. The internet just doesn't cut it, does it to be? No, it's it's we're God, thankful for it. We're thankful for it. Yes. So uh, I mean, it's not an essential. It's a vital service, and um, amen. Thank God for our pastor Frank and our other pastors, and um, for the whole family there. We're grateful that we can gather together. While we had, you know, a lot of churches weren't able to, and a lot of churches kept their doors closed. So that's one big thing to be thankful for. Absolutely. And God's love too. God's love and his Amen. mercy through these trials. And, and God will use these trials, we believe. And we're thankful that he wants to use us to build his kingdom. And if we just let him in mm -hmm. and, and truly be in his presence, he'll use these trials to build us, make us stronger, give us more courage and more compassion Amen. to serve him. So we have one other special guest with us tonight to, uh, to introduce and uh, and to be thankful for that thank you, Jesus. is Jesus. Thank you. And thank you, folks, for listening. <laughs> God bless. God bless you. Good night. Good night.